So I am in London and I'm at the Great British Museum. We're here to see the Mango Exhibition. It is the last final week of the Mango Exhibition. It closes on Tuesday, so we're here on the Thursday just to take a look around. I was very worried about getting in here because there's a massive queue outside near the entrance and it's like, it must be about two hours long. Um, but luckily we found a way to go around the back where they just check your bags and you can go and so we're going to have a look around and I'll show you all the bits of the Mango Exhibition. I'm not really too sure what to expect, but it's a lot of like original artwork for manga from 1700s back to today. Um, so yeah, I'll show you around. I'm also going to go around and have a trip around London to like the Japan Centre and hopefully around Covent Garden and the other museums. So I'll show you some other bits there, but we should start off with the Mango Exhibition. So if this is coming out late, you won't be able to come visit it because it will be closed but this was the only time I had to have some holiday for work and come visit and I thought it might be quieter for me to actually take photos and everything without loads of people looking around it. So here we go.
bit again because it's very noisy in this museum which it probably shouldn't be in a museum. I've just come out of the manga exhibition. I've just come out of the shop which I the cut up showed you. It's a lot smaller than I anticipated as it was going to be the largest kind of like manga exhibition which isn't in Japan. However I did enjoy it like looking at all the different artwork and looking around the shop at all the cute things. I picked up two, two cute things, a Sailor Moon thing and a Chi Chi uh, sweet home thing. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed seeing the manga exhibition even though it wasn't a great deal to show but that it was quite a lot of like, artwork and everything, original pieces which I really loved. We're now just currently like in the British Museum but I'm going to go somewhere else after this. guys and I'm back home. I am so tired. London really does tire me out. My vlog kind of cut a bit short when I was in London. I think the last I filmed was the art box shop. Don't think I filmed after that. I just got a bit tired and anxious. Uh, a lot of people, it was a lot busier than I thought it was going to be for like a Thursday. I just kind of gave up. I get worried about getting my camera out because it's quite big and bulky and I get worried that things might get stolen because it's quite busy and I'm a very anxious person. I did have a good day but I just feel a bit ugh, tired. <laughs> uh, luckily I have four days off work now so I can kind of recuperate a little bit. I'm gonna have a bath, chill out, watch my YouTube and some anime, have some tea and it'll be good. I'll be fine. But I had a lovely day and I really enjoyed the manga exhibition. I panicked when I first got there because there was a queue which was a about, it would have been about two hours long. It was ridiculous. It was like going into the road, which was super dangerous. Uh, luckily we went in the back because I bought tickets. I do feel like it was quite expensive 
expensive. It was £20 a ticket and I bought mine and Nick's ticket because obviously it wasn't um, Nick's kind of like thing. He's not really into manga or anything so I wanted to pay for his ticket for him coming with me basically and then that made up to about £39 which isn't a lot, a lot but I thought it was going to be a lot bigger for how much I kind of paid but I did enjoy it. It had a lot of like original artwork there. It's very nice to actually see like artwork and manga and just seeing that general Japanese artwork and things like that and they had a really lovely shop as well got to look around the shop and I'll show you some bits I picked up from today anyway at the end but I had a shop some bits were quite overpriced but luckily because it is actually shutting on Tuesday I think Tuesday's the last day the 27th they had a few things what were actually like a bit cheaper and half price and stuff or 20% off so I did pick up like two things so after that we went to Mina Lima which I think was like one of the biggest highlights of my day was a seeing the house of Mina Lina. It's a really nice like old Victorian house. It's four floors and very rickety and like it would actually be in a Harry Potter or Fantastic Beast movie because it was like so old and rickety and they decorated the whole four floors into like Harry Potter style and really magical. Mina Lima are basically the design team for the Harry Potter movies and the Fantastic Beast movies. They made all like the little things like the um, Weasley's shop and like one permits and all the little details what you see are there basically the design team for that so you can go there it's actually a exhibition and also a shop so you can shop down on the bottom part and you go up and it shows you like magical stairs you would have seen obviously in my footage and then you can buy actual art prints I would love to buy but they're about a hundred and something pounds I just don't have the budget for that but they were so beautiful and I love the window display and it was just amazing so definitely recommend going there so after I went to Mina Lima, I then walked with Nick to Artbox. I visited Artbox before at Hyper Japan as a stall and also at Comic Con once, but I have never been to the actual shop, so I went and saw the shop. I'd love to go to the cafe. I think it's only going to be pushing for the autumn period, and then I think they might change it to a different character, but I don't think I'm going to be able to go to Brighton in time to see it as pushing, which is sad. However, I got to look at all the cute things. I didn't film in the shop because it's very small there's a lot of people there and I get a bit worried about if I'm gonna get my camera out and film and get told off so I just decided not to. From Artbox we then went to the Japan Center and this is kind of where I stopped filming at all so I'll just fill you in what I did but I went to the Japan Center which I've never been to before either there's three I went to the one in Panton Street which is near Leicester Square not like a huge one but it has like a cafe and a shop as well I've bought things from there before from Hyper Japan but not not been to the shop so I've always wanted to kind of like pop in see what it looked like. I did buy a few things however it is quite expensive just as a pre-warning. It is um, a little overpriced obviously it's London and obviously a lot of things are imported so the prices are quite high like for Kit Kats and things a bag of those Kit Kats are about £12. Some of the um, other bits I like are uh, those little <laughs> Is it Kanoko no Yama? I think they were about five pounds for a box and I was just like, I need to be good with money. I'm not gonna buy any, but I did buy a few things from there. So after the Japan center and like strolling up uh, Chinatown, didn't really venture into Chinatown. It was just so busy and there were these creepy clown people and they really freaked me out. I hate clowns, so decided not to do that. Um, we then headed to the Natural History Museum, which I did not film at all. Uh, there was a lot of kids. I think it's half term until next week so a lot of screaming children and it was just a bit chaotic so I just wanted to kind of try and look at what I could and I think I just got a bit fed up near the end I wanted to go home which can happen when you go to London and busy places or if you get anxiety or claustrophobic and uh, people so ugh, that was a bit stressful however I had a look at the dinosaurs so that was cool and Nick had never been before so at least I got to show him there went home <laughs> so that was about it really but I did have a a lovely day but I mainly went for the manga exhibition before it closed so I hope you enjoyed seeing the little bits that I did film it was very nice to go around London I do like going to London I just wish that there was some sort of like burner's watch where you could stop time so there was no people there and you could just wander freely and not feel like ah people that would be great I did also pop into the Noble Collection 
but I'd been there quite recently before and there was nothing I wanted really apart from the chopped frog pillow which is £40 so no 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 I shall be good with my money. I'll just show you some of the bits that I did pick up from London today. So we shall start with the House Amina Lima and look just how beautiful the bag is like just the bag is that beautiful and this building is actually what the building looks like and it is 26 Greek Street St London and they have a shop as well. I'll put their Instagram down below as well so you can check out their Instagram but I picked this up this was five pounds it is a Fantastic Beasts postcard pack and it's Wizarding products so I mainly wanted it for the pumpkin juice one but they have quite a few cute ones on the back so it's basically just all the kind of like wizarding advertisements they'd have for like flour sugar literally just like normal I say day-to-day -day things but magical day-to-day -day things and it was only five pounds so I had to pick it up the other ones were a bit more expensive like ten pounds I think so I just wanted to pick these ones up I've actually taken this out of the packet but I got a <laughs> wand permit so this is from Fantastic Beasts so this is a wand permit and you're supposed to put your wand in it so I'll open it up and show you the inside so this is the little label which holds it together and then inside it does have a wand permit so this is what it looks like on the inside it's like a green color you could actually get the envelopes in different colors they had like green red but I chose purple because purple is my favorite color so I don't know if these colors change but when you open it up it has all this information that you have to fill in I kind of want to fill it in but I don't think I'm going to because I don't want to ruin it it's just so beautiful and a lot of detail into it and I just thought for so $4.95 that's not bad because a lot of the Mina Lima products can be quite expensive but these were the two things I did pick up. So on to the Japan Centre and the manga exhibition bits I picked up. I picked up these Sailor Moon stickers they were on sale for $1.99. We have the stickers on the back which was oh it's supposed to be $3.99 and it was $1.99. So we've got the bow and we've got the wands we've got the whole gang then on the front it's obviously got Sailor Moon so I thought I could stick these maybe in my scrapbook or maybe on my laptop. I then picked up this postcard and I think it was about a pound and it's the Chi Chi's is it Sweet Home? I love Chi Chi the cat and I just thought and this was the most adorable thing. I really love the Chi Chi artwork. It's so adorable. I'm sad they didn't have more designs. I would have picked more up but I just really love this one. Then from the Japan Centre I got this Yokai Watch box. Um, It's like corn snacks and you get a stick with it. I haven't seen any more than the two series what are on Netflix so I'm not too sure of this character because I haven't played the game but it obviously looks like Jibanyan but one of his like dark editions or something. So yeah that was around three pounds. These Hello Kitty sweets were then on sale. They're caramels I think. Some sort of caramels and I just thought the packaging was really adorable so I had to pick them up. They obviously then have their bakery. I got this onigiri and it is the spicy chicken katsu sushi onigiri which was £2.10 which is reasonably expensive because I think they're a lot cheaper and a bit bigger in Japan but I just wanted to pick it up. I did make some myself once which tasted pretty good but they didn't have seaweed around the whole of the outside it just had the seaweed where you kind of like hold it when you eat it the more kind of ones you see in images but hopefully this is um tasty I then got another one of my favorite things I always get this at Hyper Japan and it is the Doriaki it is quite expensive there as well which makes me appreciate the deal they do at Hyper Japan more because this was about two pounds something I think they had a lot more flavors though but I just went for the custard they actually had ones what were going out a date on the day and obviously because I was going to eat them today I was going to pick them up because they were half price and I thought oh my god that's a bargain but this man came and like literally took all of them and I was so gutted but I picked up one for me and I got a lemon cheesecake one for Nick. So that is it guys that is the end of my vlog um I'm sorry it was a bit crappy because I got anxious and didn't film as much hopefully the start was okay so I hope you're having a great day and let me know if you've visited any of the shops or if you went to the manga exhibition I'd love to know your thoughts on it if you thought it was good if you thought it was expensive if you thought it was big 
or not big enough, I would love to have a chat. So please comment down below. I'll leave my social media down below as well in case you want to see any more pictures from the day. I just like making new friends what like the same things as me because being a nerdy person is hard apparently <laughs> to make friends. I'm going to stop waffling now. I shall leave. Goodbye. Have a great day. I'll see you again next time. See you later guys. Bye.